There you guys go. Blessings. No, not Mike Tyson with it. Not Mike Tyson with it. Not Mike Tyson with it. Blessings. Hello, Frequency. Welcome in, everybody. Hope y'all day been good. Hope y'all have y'all snacks. Hope y'all have. I'm fucking doing an intro here. Chill out, brother. Welcome in, everybody. Hope y'all day been good. Hope y'all been well. We've been hydrating and all that good stuff. We're gonna get this stream started. Um, It's time. It's time. We got all the little gimmicks in. It's already been an hour of us little just talking and bullshitting and whatever. <laughs> We're gonna get this going. The blue steak again for me. And heart. Blue? What do you mean, blue? Blue? Blue. Wait, what? Let's see. Move camera with. Okay. Yeah, we know. Oh, we can open trash cans. Pick up object. Object interaction. You can hold two objects. Swap objects with. Uh, S objects, throw objects. Okay, cool. Place object in a valid location. That wasn't very dramatic. I was expecting him to like actually throw it when they said throw it. All right, then we can set things. Throw. Yeah, it doesn't. It didn't go that far. It isn't. I was really expecting. Yeah, that. That was very less dramatic than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be some, like, eat and then. I'm not gonna even. <laughs> I thought I was about to be like the man. Like I. Mm. Full on rip shirt and all. Like I thought I was gonna be like the fucking Hulk or something. I don't know. Um, we're gonna put it up. Uh, trash. Everything's on the floor. Hello. You know, I wish we. Fuck. I really. trying to talk here give me a goddamn second i really wish i could whistle because i don't think i can whistle all that well and then when i do try to whistle i look like a goofball i think my lips are just too big i honestly think my lips are just too big to whistle but then i don't mousetrap this definitely has to do with something is this a puzzle game I thought you had a weapon no nah, i really did i thought i had a weapon weapon like i thought i thought i was gonna bash some skulls in don't tell me I live back here. Cause why why am I looking through the trash can? This might as well be homeless simulator. Hello? Opening doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. 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 Yeah. This is big brain time. Oh yeah, this is big brain time. Big brain time. <laughs> what do I gotta do with a notepad? I can pick up a pencil, I can pick up a notepad, I can pick up a whole lot of things, can't I? Pick up a clock, whatever this is. I don't know why. What? I see you. I wasn't even trying to start the game yet. I was just trying to look at stuff. Marty dead. Bite your nose off. We're already starting? You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? Peggy! I thought I heard someone yelling, or, I don't know, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No. I... Forrest? Oh, Forrest, oh, you better run. Oh, oh, we got yeah, records. Well, finally started to ease up. Yo, we got records. You probably just heard some cats outside. Ooh, I'm excited cats. too. You know, oh, four legs, timer. whiskers, Fuck. tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. It's been about I mean, 18 minutes. Does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But okay, if you're sure I you don't want to... Oh, I mean, we can do the checks. It's honestly, it's whatever. 
No, yeah, we need to we need to do the check. We need to do the check. Let's do check. I mean, all right, fine. Let's get through this. It'll be kind of fun Alrighty, if we win here blindly, but y'all know speaking. if I go into think. If we go into things blindly, y'all know how dumb I am. Y'all know how dumb I am. I'm not the brightest soul. I'm not. I'm not. Let's let's all be honest. Let's all be honest. I'm not. It is what it is. But that's why I do the tutorial. But you know, it's kind of fun when you don't do the tutorial sometimes. But hey, I'm really not the brightest. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. All right. Okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. I'm pretty Easy. sure I can do that. Got it. Oh. Turn it up. Great. Turn now it down. turn it off. I'm pretty sure I got the hang of this already. I'm not going right. to lie. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Uh, phone line one. All right, Peggy, ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a riot. That's great. great. And button <laughs> two works just the same. So, All right. Let's move to the Peggy button. The Peggy you button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? Yeah, can we mute they you, Peggy? They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. Hold up, y'all. Because I don't know why this... My computer's maxed out on storage. Oh, my God. Why would you do this to me mid-game? That's embarrassing. I mean, we did just install, like... Five different games on my computer at once. Knowing damn well I barely have any storage on my computer at all. What is wrong with me? Let's be for real. I'm sorry. I, 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 and I just said I'm not the brightest soul. I just went through and said I'm not the brightest soul. Oh, God. Keep the back room. Everything is fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to delete five in. I don't know the next time I'm gonna do an actual GTA roleplay server, but if I do do that soon, then who knows? I don't know the next time I'll do that. All right, there we go. <laughs> we love you either way. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. All right, we back. We back into it. We back into it, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. Can I shoot hoops? Yeet! That was the weakest throw ever. Come on, Forrest. My Just fault. press the button. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. <sighs> press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. This That's would be me. One. I think me and Forrest feel the same way. Oh, what are we tapping next? Sound blaster. Front of the desk to the right. Oh. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the That was terrible. Left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we groove. Sliders should be right in front of you, like directly in front. I just changed the slider, did I not? Or was it this one? All right. Oh, that one. Seems to be all working. We done, Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Hey. Local yeah. time. Yeah. I do. Should not I didn't just kidding. I knew you in. had a fun side. Hey. It's Let's my not fun do side this. that gets me in trouble. Now, let's get the show started. What are we getting started? After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Wait, I thought this was okay, a sound alert. Okay, you're live in three, 
to oh wait hey oh i thought it'd probably be a little bit Gallows longer than that Creek. this is your host forrest nash and you're listening to 189.16 the scream before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I like that I need to one. let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one that's wow, good goodness, yeah. how do you now, feel about this is kind of good the tape. being we'll a radio play that station in just a second listen close and then call in to guess that scream peggy what do you mean play the tape i used to have a tape guy do that for me you're not in chicago anymore forrest here in gallows creek you get to be your own tape guy come on i gave it to you yesterday um, Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy. Yeah. Let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. Oh, it we don't have the tape. I'm about idea, to say, cause... but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're I mean... going to need to scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic. So. Peggy, are you serious? Why do I gotta be the one to scream? I mean, you have a mic in there too. You talking? <sighs> I used to go out all across America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Jesus. Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. You're right. You're right. Just think my, of fault, a my fault. My fault. Let it rip. <laughs> oh God. Don't let me get Sorry on mic. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Let's go with the first one. Uh, that shit was terrible. Uh, well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough. Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Oh, should I introduce a song? Now it's time to go with The Flow. And this is their hit, Crying for Help. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. No, it was terrible. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> that was How the hell did I get into this mess? That was crazy. Lighten up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of my week. That was crazy. That absolutely set me back. That laugh threw my... <laughs> that threw me back. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Oh, the call coming in. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Oh, right. Welcome oh. to 189.16... The scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's You're going on with to you today? You're talking to Forrest Nash, buddy. Thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. Leslie. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Gallows Creek. Are you calling to guess Welcome that to the scream? Show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No. Look, I found a body and what the fuck I are you need calling for them? <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Oh, this is awkward. I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. You should call the Leslie, sheriff. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name, Sheriff Andrews? Don't do something funny. Whatever. I mean, it I'm depends the what your fun right is. Now. I don't, Wait, I don't like y'all terms of fun. Sheriff Matthews is dead. 
What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... That's what I'm trying to do, but I can't shoot him. I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Oh, I do like that. Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Where are the other officers? I don't, I don't understand. Why, why are, are you calling me officers? exactly? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or whatever cops are supposed to do? No. I checked everywhere. Yeah. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. How does I your own officer right get locked now. up? Do y'all hear Wait. this? Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Those don't are. Ridiculous. We have three. Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Ooh. Leslie, That's like you need to call it. over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I yeah, tried, it's blocking but it. I can't That's call cheating. anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, Who's right going to man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. What? Why me? No, this is a bad idea. No, I'm sorry, but this is a terrible idea. What on earth made you think to do that? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides... There are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know I'm, like I'm Kobe so good in at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? Oh. So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Well, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Buy another set of keys. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? The officer's desk? Sheriff Matthews? Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. I mean, I, I would think the sheriff would always have the keys on him. Oh no. Over and, oh, please don't stare at me. I. Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? I can't handle this all night. This is a prank. I'm quitting. <laughs> I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like, like this happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just gonna sit you in your office chair. Why would you what? We'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck.
feel like there's some achievements around if I throw this at something. Alright, well. You're leaving on our own? You mean we're gonna be on our own? Just Peggy and me, and no one else. Why is that open? to emergency calls. You'll be fine. You and Peggy just work together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? I thought what she happened? was goner. I thought Wait. she was a goner. What? I thought she got collapsed. No, no way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh, my God. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Who? Right? With that mask. And how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? man? Who's the whistling man? He Feels like wearing SpongeBob all over again. The hash flinging, slash flinging. Flash, slash, meaning. Oh, God. Then it's just another guy playing him. Do you think. Let's be for real. Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. The whistling man. Stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Forrest, come on. You need to focus. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. What do you mean? <laughs> Take a police cruiser. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if... Why didn't you think about that any... before? Uh, just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for but it could be a three. trap, though. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But... Wait... How am I supposed to get us to the car? Well, what's the other option? The a hide there? Right there? Take share for the deputies. Why? Why gun? What gun does? Does it matter? The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can Can you see if it? You're next to the so sheriff. Just take him. him. Let me grab it. I. Shit! It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Can you see any other weapons? Is there a weapon lockup? There should be there if you're at a sheriff. A you're a sheriff. In the station, you're right? at a sheriff weapon place. Could you grab something from there? I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, <laughs> it was locked. <laughs> but maybe one of these keys I got earlier. Remember, he had shells all around him. No. I don't. I don't no. remember that. No. Uh, shit. None of the keys work. Or are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, AJ, you well, remember that? Deputy Martinez's belt. I'm surprised I missed that. It must have been when I was shooting right. papers. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton. It has to be when I was shooting papers. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? Let me to take a weapon with her, but which one? Taser, the baton. I mean, the taser's gonna incapitate anybody. He has a mask on. I'm guessing if it's the whistling man, so pepper spray's not gonna work. Baton, I'm not getting close to beat somebody. I'd rather tase somebody I from mean, a distance. It's gotta be the taser, right? Got it. Let's be for real here. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then. Wait. Do you hear that? No. No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Can you still see him? I'm, can you still see you him? You said you could see the whistling man earlier. Can you still see him? Let me take a look. No. You better hide. I don't see Run. him anywhere. But I can see the car. Squad car three. It's right there. Hide. 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 Okay. Deputy Martinez? Yeah, she's about to get yeah, whacked. It's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. You can't take there him. You is. have to leave him. Are you sure about this, Leslie? She's getting whacked. Well, like She's getting present, whacked. Right? She's getting whacked. So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now. No, you're getting so whacked. I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. You're getting whacked. Don't yep, go. <sighs> Speak to you soon. 
Good luck, Leslie. Well, good luck. He's gone. This is the part where the killer comes out of nowhere, isn't it? Yep. You know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything. In At least live she radio. knows too. She's pretty smart. She knows where the killer comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, she's screwed. I think we've got Leslie back on the line. We're screwed. That's not I'm her. The call that's through. definitely the killer. Hello. Oh, that's Forest? her. Peggy. She made it. This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. Ten four. That's a big ten four there, good buddy. I, I'm guessing you made it to the car then. <laughs> Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. <laughs> I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! He's in the car. He's in the car. Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! I load the gun into his ass! That's what I'm talking about! Blick his hand! Get out of there! Leslie, what are you waiting for? Get out of there! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or... Forrest, that taser? Definitely the right call. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But let me tell Go you. Go Leslie, y'all. Go Leslie. Go Leslie. Go Leslie. Go Leslie. Leslie, how Go long do you think it's going to take to get home? <laughs> Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while. Maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly each way? God damn. Point. That long? You better floor it. You keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me twice. Anyway, once I'm in... Oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Bro, what are we getting into? What are we getting into, y'all? We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek. Hold up, y'all. My fault, my fault. I gotta pause real quick. I'm at the door. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're counting on you, Leslie. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. I don't think we'll you should talk have said here that. On 189.16... The scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. <laughs> 189.16. Oh, this is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's going to take her four hours? This guy's going to kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... We're not on air no more, right? <sighs> Who yeah. is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward <laughs> Marshall yeah, w. Moody Clip, Nip. went w. around Clip. in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just did. So we're screwed then. Um. And he's come back tonight? Probably not. Police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean... What's, What's the story? story? Yeah, no. Nah. Story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. Wait, how long right, ago was that's this? The story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight. How many years? I don't know. All right, copycat or ghost killer. I. 
That's what I'm thinking. I guess we'll do our best. Copycat. That's the spirit. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, no 35, 35 people. people. Damn! At best. Wow. 35 at best? 35, yeah. It's a school night. What kid are listening on the radio? And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. oh damn. How many did you get before? You know. That's probably before smaller my than my hometown. And I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town. Now, of that might be actually people. a little bit bigger. Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end. Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15. Easy. Five thousand nah. on the low end. We're a bit end? bigger than that. We're a bit bigger than that. Don't dream of that. Five million. Million? You missed it. What you yeah. missed? Yeah. Sometimes that's just the way it goes. Oh, three point five of that. The whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah. I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Hello, caller. You're live on one eighty nine point sixteen. The scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Click it off! Click it off! Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Leslie. Leslie. The demon. You hear this? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? He's whistling! Oh, that was cringe, buddy. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one safe. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this, Mr. Whistling Man. You don't have to kill again. Here it goes a little you. 